So is cybersecurity future-proof? Uh, I'm going to be answering this question in depth. I think my answer is the actual reality of things and I think it's correct. Uh, but yeah, before I get into that, my name is Josh Matikor. If you don't already know me, I make a lot of ethical content on IT and cybersecurity with a focus on helping you to change your career. So is cybersecurity future-proof? Um, yes, I believe it is, but let me like elaborate on this a bit. And I'm not just being like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be here forever because my content is based on it. Keep watching me. It's not about that. So. Cybersecurity is absolutely future proof um, with a caveat that it is definitely going to be evolving over time, right? Because of course we have computer systems everywhere. Of course we have like a lot of the country itself has a lot of critical infrastructure and there's this technology in absolutely everything, right? Like our power grid, right? It's, it has cybersecurity vulnerabilities. It can be attacked through like cyber warfare, like cyber means. We have a whole bunch of stuff like electronic pacemakers, cars, like all this like crazy stuff where cybersecurity is really, really important. If it gets compromised, people are going to die. And like the whole reason cybersecurity exists is both to prevent businesses from losing money and prevent the loss of human life, you know, depending on what the thing is that could get compromised. Like I said, um, the, the landscape or, or like, you know, uh, the different vulnerabilities and the different stuff that has tech is evolving over time. So, that's something that we have to stay up with in terms of, you know, being professionals and being able to protect protect stuff. But if you're considering like doing a cybersecurity degree or getting security plus, like all of those things serve as like a really good baseline. And the baseline for cybersecurity doesn't really change, right? If you think about the CIA triad, if you crack open like a CompTIA Security Plus book, by the way, we have a whole bunch of free practice questions for that and many other exams. But if you crack open a security plus textbooks, the first thing that you're probably going to see is the CIA triad, which is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And those are like the cornerstones of cybersecurity. Everything else, like all this other crazy stuff like AI and machine learning and like all these sophisticated cyber attacks, they all like they all like build on top of the CIA triad. The CIA triad is how you defend against all of those things. And that that doesn't really change. This just kind of the means of defense change. So if you go and get like security plus or you go and get a cybersecurity degree or something like that, it's still definitely going to be relevant, right? It's not like, oh, like all the cybersecurity jobs are filled. The, the, the discipline went away. It's not going to happen, right? Because we utilize technology everywhere. And so much crazy cyber warfare is going on that like even I don't know about. We don't know about the crazy stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Like if you're interested in getting like a peek behind the curtain, I, I definitely recommend watching Darknet Diaries. He like really dives into like all those like crazy stuff that we wouldn't normally know about, right? A lot of crazy stuff goes on. So um, definitely cybersecurity is future proof and you you have the green light from me to study cybersecurity and get a cybersecurity bachelor's degree or something. Because um, at the very least, you're going to come out of that with a really strong baseline and then, you know, do your portfolio and employability framework and get really good and get a job. And then once you start working, you're going to kind of learn those nuances for whatever your field is. There's always going to be like changing stuff like AI and machine learning. It's not like AI is not going to automate people away because what happens is the bad guys figure out something and they use it to attack people. The blue team, like the good guys patch it up. The bad guys can't do that thing anymore. So they have to figure out a new way to do it. They figure out a new thing. They start attacking you with it. For example, like the solar wind supply chain, who would have thought the supply chain would get compromised leading to such a freaking crazy data breach, right? They come up with a new thing. They attack the supply chain. The, the good guys come up with a way to defend it. Like NIST started defining um, things for supply chain um, controls, like to defend the supply chain. The bad guys are like, okay, it's hard to attack that. So they come up with a new thing, like using AI and like maybe language models and machine learning, and they attack with that. And then we, the, the good guys, like the blue team, come up with a way to defend it. It's just evolving like forever. And getting like security plus and cybersecurity degrees kind of give you that nice baseline foundation in which you're going to build on when you actually start working and getting exposed to these crazy things. So of course, you know, cybersecurity not going to go away. You can look at Bureau of Labor Statistics and you can see the projection for it. This looks realistic to me. And it's so hard to get a job in cybersecurity. People are like, oh, I'm like, I have a master's degree. I'm applying like million jobs and I can't get hired. It's because that they're not conveying um, 
basically you have to convince someone to give you an interview and convince someone to hire you. And if you're not getting interviews, something's wrong with your resume. It's not conveying passion enough. Maybe you're missing projects. Maybe you're missing experience. You can get experience by, you can even start your own company, make a bunch of cybersecurity content, make it tangible, make a portfolio, put it on your resume. This is infinitely better than having no experience at all. My cybersecurity course has like an internship component where you can get, put internship experience on your resume people companies contact me and I, I give references so many times to people they get hired from that you can you can get really creative with experience um, in order to you know distinguish yourself from your peers and then get that first job so it's cybersecurity it is, it is future proof as much as healthcare is future proof but cybersecurity evolves faster than healthcare does you just have to get a nice baseline foundation distinguish yourself from your peers convince someone to hire you and then you learn the nuances of the field from there and then you're essentially good to go again i highly recommend watching darknet diaries um, you can listen to cyberwire daily as well to get like a good sense for what's going on in the field definitely check those out and if you want some certifications me and my team built a whole bunch of practice exams for basically all of the comp tias like a plus network security plus CISSP, ITIL, we're building one for Pentest Plus right now. And then we are, we're essentially going to build out all the certifications that WGU requires for their degrees. So those are 100% free. Check those out. And yeah, best of luck.